guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a what's for dinner. I have three yummy recipes for you. I have Italian sausage and shells, egg roll in a bowl, and then I have a loaded crock pot potato soup. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Ruthie and I'm a mom of two. I post almost everything, lifestyle, motherhood, cooking, everything. Um, I want my platform to be who I am and I don't want to narrow it down to a certain category because it's who I am. So I want to show you everything of who I am and I don't care if my channel doesn't do well because of that because I'm going to post what I want to post. But today, this video, this series I'm going to do is uh, what's for dinner. Um, and so for tonight for dinner, we're going to be doing a loaded crock pot potato soup. Um, I have a video on my channel. I think it's like two years old now. Um, that I posted, um, and it's just such a good recipe. Um, I forget exactly who I found this recipe from. Um, it's a good recipe. It's easy. I like easy. Um, you can make a loaded potato soup and peel the potatoes and all that, but we're going to make it easy, easy. So since I'm doing a much smaller batch of this loaded potato soup, I'm going to be just taking half a bag of the diced potatoes with peppers and onions. You can use any kind that you like. I usually pick up anyone that's on sale. Um, so I'm just gonna throw these into the crock pot. I'm also gonna add just one can of cream of chicken. Um, and cream of chicken skeeves me out so bad, but it just has so much flavor. Um, so I'm just gonna put one can in there. Next, I'm just going to add some bacon bits. Cooked bacon is so good in this soup as well, but if you're on a hurry or you just want to make it quick, the bacon bits taste really good as well. I'm going to take about half of the cream cheese and I'm going to apply it to the crock pot. It would be best if you used room temperature cream cheese, but I forgot to take it out, so mine is a little colder. When your cream cheese is cold, it will kind of clump up a little bit, but it's fine. It still tastes just as good. I'm gonna add two cans of chicken broth, and then I'm just gonna give it a good mix. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to this recipe as well. Um, the first time I made it, I never added the salt or pepper, and as much as I don't really think it needs too much salt, I definitely think it needs pepper, um, but I just added a little bit of salt to this just to give it a little bit more flavor. I'm going to cook this on high for about three and a half hours. So my crock pot now shows 22 minutes, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up. The cream Splash me. The cream cheese is not fully melted, and I always forget that you really should let your cream cheese be room temp before you put it in there because it kind of like if it's cold and it kind of clumps up a little bit, but it's fine. So it just looks like this. So I'm just gonna add some cheese, and I have like a lot of cheese. We were so excited to eat this meal that I honestly forgot to film an outro of the finished soup. It was so good. My toddler actually had two bowls of it and my little one loved it as well. This one we're going to be making egg roll in a bowl. This was actually my first time making this one and it was so good. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I kind of just tweaked it a little bit to make my own. Um, but I'm just going to take one pound of ground turkey and I'm going to go ahead and start cooking it. And then I'm also in the background, you're just seeing I'm just making some jasmine rice. Not important, um, but you can actually eat the egg roll in a bowl portion of it and it's actually keto friendly. So I'm going to add one package of cabbage. I actually do not like cabbage, but this is like a pre-packaged cabbage and it was so good. I didn't even realize egg rolls had cabbage in it, but I guess that's pretty popular. So I'm just going to add some ground ginger to this. If you have fresh ginger, use it. It makes the difference. Um, I wish I had fresh ginger, but I was all out. So 
but next I'm just going to add some garlic powder to this as well. I'm also going to add some cocoa aminos. It's better than soy sauce. It has less sodium in it. And do you guys see my little one in the background? He's, <laughs> he's just sitting there watching me cook. This is literally my life. I feel like cocoa aminos doesn't have as much flavor than actual soy sauce, which obviously because it's so watered down. Um, so I add quite a bit of this compared to like the recipe. And even then I added more to my bowl afterwards as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and prepare mine and my little one's dinner. So I'm adding just a little bit of rice and then topping it with the egg roll. So I just topped it with some scallion. I don't know, was it scallion or green onions? I don't know. I can never tell the difference between the two. The recipe was so good, I definitely recommend trying it. Now we're gonna be making some sausage and shells. I love making this whenever I don't know what I wanna make for dinner. I'm gonna start off by chopping up one whole white onion. And I'm just gonna add it to the pan with some minced garlic. Um, I'm just using this one from the jar because I am lazy and I'm just going to go ahead and cook that and let it get translucent. I'm going to go ahead and add my mild Italian ground sausage. Um, you can use whatever kind of sausage you like. I just honestly grab what's on sale because that's how I meal plan. That's also how I budget and save some money is I try to meal plan with what is on sale and that way I'm not spending that way I'm not spending a fortune on my meals and it's still good hearty meals. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some Italian seasoning to this. I add a lot because Italian seasoning is life. So I'm just going to add one whole bag of small Italian shells. I use the small ones just because it's easier when I give it to my little 10 month old. Um, you can use whatever size, you could do penne, whatever you like. And then I'm also going to do one can of chicken stock or you can use beef stock, vegetable stock, whatever you like. So I'm just going to add this can, I think it's like 6 ounces of tomato paste. I'm also going to fill up that can with water and then I'm just going to pour it into the pan as well. To give it a nice mix you have to make sure you're mixing it pretty well just because it is tomato paste so it's a little thicker I'm just gonna let this cook on low for just about like 15 20 minutes just until the noodles get a little bit softer and then I'm going to go ahead and add some cream cheese. Now this is a huge thing. Cream cheese makes all the difference. I'm just going to add two big spoonfuls of cream cheese and then a couple handfuls of Parmesan cheese, a couple handfuls of mozzarella cheese, and then I just had a little bit of Mexican shredded cheese left over, so I'm just going to use that as well. Then I'm going to give it another good mix. this cook just a little bit longer just to make sure the cheese melts and that's it you guys this is so good it's probably like just like a comfort food I've always made this and it's just so delicious so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I do post three times a week Monday Wednesday and Saturday so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos thanks guys bye